This is my entire Skaven collection, and in today's video we're going to be going through to see how many points I've built up over the years. Stay tuned. I've been building the Skaven collection since the release of the Island of Blood box in 2010, and honestly, it wasn't love at first sight. When I looked at Warhammer Fantasy, it was lizard men or vampire counts. The dinosaurs and vampires, that's what I was interested in. But at the time, the Island of Blood box had just come out and I had found out that the Skaven weren't just any regular army. They had wizards, engineers, assassins, ogres, disease and plagues, mutant beasts, war machines, spies and an endless horde of clan rats ready for battle. I had seen the way of the great horned rat and I was hooked. Now this took me a while to set up. I had boxes of Skaven all over the place, but look at it in all its Skaven goodness. From the mighty vermin lord to the smallest rat, this army really does have a bit of everything. But every army has a strong backbone built from its warriors. In this case, it's the clan rats. In one of my last videos, I went through my entire Stormcast collection, and that army was just under 10,000 points with 170 models. Here, there are roughly 260 clan rats, and these guys are just the standard troops. I do have some on round bases, but unfortunately, a good few are still on the square bases. Now this unit of clan rats are the Skaven Zombies. I did these quite a while ago, and I love the idea of having a mix of Skaven and the Undead. And I think this is one of the first things that I did that was part of my own lore. To have a warlord with him that has a free guild soldier tied up as a hostage, which is awesome. And I'm not sure when, but eventually I would really like to add more, more stuff to this down the line with different units. As for the elite storm vermin, I'm pretty much lacking with these. I have 30 of the current models, but I also have a small handful of Warhammer Quest clan rats that I use as storm vermin. These have that old hardened look to them that I think suits the storm vermin perfectly. As for the army's resident plague spreaders, Clan Pestilence is probably my least favourite of the Skaven clans. The models are cool, the lore is good, but I've always just found myself not being too really bothered with the Clan Pestilence boys. But somehow, I've ended up with a good amount of them. I do love the Play Claw Catapult though. From my least favourite to my absolute favourite, and of course it's going to be the Stealthy Assassins of Clan Nation. I've had a love-hate relationship with this clan because some of the models are fantastic, especially the newer assassins from the Nether Maze and the Echoes of Doom box. You have the Vermilar Deceiver, as well as the Night Runners and Gutter Runners, but that's it. The Gutter Runners are all metal models, and the Night Runners, while they have a charm to them, they badly need an update. But there are really good kits out there for Eshin conversions, like Spike Claw Swarm Kit, and the Blood Ball team does have two gutter runners in the box. So there are a few options out there to convert with. Another of the clans is Clan Molder, and I love Clan Molder. Why? Because you can do whatever you want with them. These guys create some of the most horrific monsters through breeding, mutation, and surgical alteration. You have the pack masters who are the handlers and trainers of the beasts and keep control with their whips and their things catchers. The beasts they control can be rat ogres, giant rats and the storm fiends, but their greatest creation is the hell pit abomination. This thing is disgustingly beautiful. It looks like the stuff of nightmares and I absolutely love it. One of my favourite Skaven items is this book called The Uniforms and Heraldry of the Skaven and it gives some info on lots of different lesser known clans and just when I thought I couldn't love the Skaven anymore I stumbled across this page of the great clan scurvy. These guys are the pirates of the Skaven world and I immediately took a shine to them and started working on some of the models for a warband. The leader of the group is the Sea Lord, there's a bombardier, a mixture of clan rats that I tried to make as individual as possible. Like one guy has a cleaver from the kitchen as a weapon, and some of them are a lot smaller than your average clan rat. These are the runts of the warband. The giant rats even have weapons. But the centerpiece of the warband has got to be my converted unit of storm fiends. I wanted the warband to have some heavy muscle, and I really tried to change these guys up enough to try and get them to fit with clan scurvy. And I'm really happy how it turned out. I have been working on a ship for these guys, but it's been on hold for a good while. There's still a lot more details that eventually I want to add onto it before it gets painted. So that one is going to take a while. Spike Claw Swarm was a great addition when it came out, and I ended up picking out 
a couple of these boxes. It's like a small upgrade pack for units and heroes that have a much more dynamic pose. When it comes to the hero models, I'm not in short supply, especially since the Island of Blood models are still easily available on eBay. I have a bunch of Warlock Engineers, Packmasters, Warlords, an old Vermin Lord, and some conversions that I've done. But I would like some of the older named characters like Queek Headtaker and Ickit Claw. I have some War Machines, but not a whole lot. Not as much as I'd like to have. I think having the Screaming Bell is a standard for any Skaven collection, and I recently got to add the Plague Furnace from the Echoes of Doom box. I have one Doom Wheel, which is terrible. I want to have at least four of these, because someday I have like a Skaven Biker gang. Finally, we come to the big guys, the Varmin Lord and Tankwell and Bone Ripper. I'm not the biggest advocate of the Storm and Varm model. Some of the builds I think are good, like the Warp Seer, but generally I don't really like them that much. I find their pose just to be a bit meh, and the tail, honestly, is kind of annoying to deal with. I tried to do something with the Deceiver model to make him stand out a bit more, but he still needs a lot more work to be done on him. But on the other hand, the Tankle of Bone Ripper model is fantastic. This is a monster. I consider this the centerpiece of my army. The OG Gracier right in the top of a gigantic rad ogre. The pose is great and the details on Tankwell really make sure that he doesn't get lost when you're looking at the two guys together. Apart from a few bits that I kept aside for conversions and stuff like that, this is my whole Skaven collection. This is 9,500 points of my favourite army. Starting with a few models from a starter set in 2010 to an army that takes up my whole hobby table. But there is one model that I haven't shown. One type that I've never worked with before and it's been in my collection for a while and it's still in its box until now.